Hey, uh, Mike here again. This is going to be the second video in my uh, proposed series of uh, traffic safety videos. Uh, I want to talk today about uh, center left turn lanes. Uh, everybody, I'm presuming, is familiar with these. They have been increasingly used in uh, built up areas over the last 10 or 15 years or so. Generally laid out like uh, this. You've got lanes of traffic, can be two or four lanes, and in the center is a dedicated left turn lane, usually with alternating arrows, and uh, bounded by solid uh, unbroken lines, uh, which indicate no passing, of course. Uh, these things were developed because stopping to make a left turn is one of the most dangerous things you can do legally in traffic. Uh, you're basically stopping your car in the middle of the fast lane of traffic and hoping that all the guys behind you are paying attention and will actually stop and not run into you. Sometimes it's not the guy behind you or the guy behind him, but the guy behind him and then you get a four or five car accident because they all scrunch into each other. So the traffic engineers knew that this kind of accident didn't happen much at big major intersections where you had a dedicated left turn lane. So they said, why not extend these lanes and put in a dedicated left turn lane in built, built up areas where there's a lot of shopping centers, strip malls, things like that. And we'll get people off the streets and they can make their left turn safely. This is a good idea. Uh, when they started building these things, I don't ever recall there being any kind of public service announcements or uh, videos or anything of the sort available as to how to actually use them. I guess that the highway engineers thought that this was some a simple thing, that uh, it would be immediately apparent to everybody how to use them. You, pull into the thing at the point where you want to make a turn and stop and wait till it's safe to make the turn. Step one up. But the problem with that is that, uh, as the man said a long time ago, nothing is idiot proof because idiots are so clever. And so there's a number of things people do wrong that are seriously dangerous and I'd like to point out. Uh, I see these things happening all the time. Uh, the first thing is that people will get into the left turn lane and drive. They just simply go down the road for varying lengths of time. I've seen people drive entire city blocks in the left turn lane. Uh, whether they just think that's okay or whether they're not sure where they're going. Maybe, you know, Joe's uh, uh, smoke shop is over here somewhere and they're not familiar with where it is don't know. But that's a bad idea. All it takes is for somebody going the other way to nip in the lane and what have you got? Bingity bang. Uh, down where I live we had a big uh, grocery store chain, big uh, Deerberg's over here, and we had a big discount store over here, a Grandpa Pigeons, I think they're out of business now. Anyway, uh, in the first two years they put this left turn lane in, we had like six serious head-on collisions and two fatalities uh, for people doing that. People would get in this lane going down to the Deerberg store, away from the top of a hill, and just stay in it. And somebody would nip in to go into the Grandpa's and bang! Uh, the only thing that stopped the carnage was that uh, the grandpa's went out of business and was replaced by a plumbing contractor and now there's not much traffic. So that's the first thing. Most states specify a distance that you can drive in the left turn lane. In our state it's 500 feet, which is seriously wrong in my opinion, but the state legislators didn't ask me. Uh, that's one and two-thirds football fields. That's way too far. Uh, Fifty yards would be more like it. 
So regardless of what your state says you can do, what you want to do is to pull into the left turn lane where you want to make the left turn and stay there until such time as you can safely make the turn. Don't use it as another lane of traffic. Okay. That's the first thing. Uh, the second thing that I see people doing all the time is using the left turn lane as a kind of inference ramp. We've all been tempted to do this. It's a uh, situation is, here's George, he was wanting to make a left turn. out in. He's in a parking lot or a side street. He wants to make a left turn onto this major thoroughfare. Heavy traffic in both directions. So, excuse me, I'm getting interrupted by my puppy dog. Anyway, so, what he's tempted to do is, when the traffic breaks a little bit on this side, he'll pull out into the left turn lane and wait until there's a sufficient break for him to pull into the lane he wants to be in. That's not ideal. It's not too terribly bad. At least you're not moving. Pull into it and stop. It's, it's not a recommended thing, but it's much better than the alternate thing you see people doing, which is to pull out and then literally use it as an empty entrance ramp accelerating very strongly in an attempt to merge with this traffic. What's wrong with that? Well, for one thing, you're driving in the left turn lane again. Not only are you driving, you're accelerating. And thirdly, you're looking back over your shoulder at the oncoming traffic and not straight ahead at what might be coming the other way. Uh, not a good scene at all. Uh, we had a bicyclist, of all things, killed uh, just a couple of years ago doing this. He was riding his bicycle in the left turn lane. I'll have a section on bicycles, never appear. Yeah, so, you know, that's a bad idea. Legally, you should ignore the left turn lane. Go right across it and into the lane you want to be in. That's, that's how it's supposed to be. Like I say, it's, we've all been tempted to cheat a little bit. So if you're going to do that at all, by all means, just pull into this lane and wait till it's clear, till the traffic passes and you can safely pull over. And remember, so many modern cars, uh, the SUVs, the crossovers, big family type vehicles, very bad view to the right rear because of all that sheet metal. So uh, don't rely on your rear view mirror for that. You're going to have to turn your head and have to look and make sure there's nothing in that lane when you're pulling into it. Okay. So that, that's the second sin, misusing the thing. The third one, and I've had this happen to me, is Junior will decide to use this for a passing lane. Now, like I say, these are bounded by solid stripes. That means, in case you've forgotten your basic driver's test, no passing. But, every once in a while, Junior here will be just so in a hurry to get home to that big game. That, uh, and this guy ahead of him will be, you know, meandering along nearly at the speed limit. So uh, he just can't stand that. So zoom, he uses the left turn lane as a passing zone. It ought to be immediately apparent why that's a bad idea. Again, you're driving in the lane, and not only are you driving, but you're accelerating. You're driving very fast. All it takes is for some slightly unobservant person going the other way to pull in, and bingo, you've got a bad accident. I say, I, should I observe this while I'm working, I would not hesitate to charge the person with careless and reckless driving. It's the most serious charge 
that you can uh, level short of uh, driving while intoxicated or something. So those are the major sins. Like I say, these are simple things to use. Pull into it at the point where you want to make your left turn over here and sit there and wait till it's safe. That's all they're for. It's simple. One final little thing. I've seen this now and again. Mostly older people who don't seem to quite understand, you know, something new, I guess. And you'll see them, they'll be driving along, want to make the left turn here, and they'll do this. <laughs> they'll pull the front end of the car into the left turn lane and leave the back end of the car out in the middle of the traffic. Not a good idea. Again, pull all the way into the lane. Wait till it's safe. And there you go. Easy to do. That's enough for this time. Next time I'll talk about turning in general. What fun.